today I'm going to be sharing my baby shower haul with you guys. I know a lot of you have been really looking forward to this video and I am so excited to be sharing it with you. We had our shower this past Sunday and it was such a blast. We had it at this cute little tea, um, like tea place <laughs> and yeah, it was so much fun and baby Stella was absolutely, <laughs> excuse the pun, showered with gifts and love and uh, I am just beyond blown away by what we received. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. There are so many cute baby things. If you guys know me, you know I just absolutely love baby things and baby products, so I cannot wait to dive into this video and share it all with you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm also a little intimidated about filming this video because it is quite a lot of stuff to get through. I tried to kind of categorize things um, to give a little bit of method to the madness of this video. We are going to kind of start um, with the smaller items that I can pick up and show you in the frame and then at the end of the video I thought I would include the larger items that I'm not going to be able to actually physically pick up and show you but I will kind of talk through them and film some clips to insert um, into the video so you guys can still see the items that we received. Hold on, I just realized my air conditioning is still on. I'm going to go turn that off so that's not running for the whole video. Okay, hopefully that audio is a little better for you guys. Sorry about that. Um, but I thought we would start off things by going through all of the baby clothes, because who doesn't love baby clothes? So again, in the interest of keeping things not, you know, super, super long-winded in this video, I am just going to run through the clothes pretty fast and just show you guys really quick what they look like. Um, I could go on and on and gush about each and every little piece, but then we'd be sitting here forever and wouldn't be able to see all the other cute things. So... Yeah, I'm just going to kind of quickly hold up each piece and share what they look like and then we can move on to the rest of the goodies. Alright, very first we got a nice basic set of just plain white onesies. Every parent needs them. These are just such a great basic to mix and match with various pants or, you know, over shirts or whatever um, and jackets since she will be a fall baby. So excited to have a nice set of these. If you can hear my dog, she has decided that now is the best time to start playing with her toys. Sorry about that. <laughs> Moving on. We also received the world's cutest little bikini. Isn't that so freaking cute? I can't believe, like, this isn't even, like, newborn. This is 6 to 12 months because she is going to be, obviously, 6 to 12 months next summer. And so that's when she'll be able to wear this. This is from Janie and Jack, which is one of my all-time favorite, favorite baby stores. If you guys have been following my vlog channel, you have already heard me gush on and on about Janie and Jack. But I cannot wait to see her in that. She also got this cute little multicolored rainbow dress that again will be perfect for next summer. It's just so colorful and happy. She got this fancy dress, which I am considering making her Christmas dress depending on how big she is and what size she's fitting maybe. Well, it's actually 18 months, so that's a little big. Maybe it'll be like her next year Christmas dress or maybe Easter or something like that, but it's just this really cute little fancy dress. It has like ribbon and pearl detailing. I think it's gonna look so darling on her. Next, we have these adorable little onesies that have cute little pink animals, pink and mint animals, which are just totally kind of like her theme is pink and mint. That's what her nursery colors are. And a lot of the clothes and stuff that we received have those color themes in them, and I'm so excited. I hope the colors are picking up on the camera and it's not too bright with this uh, studio light, but yeah, a bunch of cute little pink onesies. And then next we got these long sleeve thermal onesies, which I am obsessed with. Like how freaking cute are those? The front one has a cat, but I believe the other ones are just plain. Yeah, so there is a pink one with a little cat decal, and then there is a mint one underneath that, and then a gray one. And I think these are gonna be so freaking precious, especially like, you know, in the fall. I think they're just absolutely adorable. And next up, we got a whole bunch of sleepers, because again, she's going to be a fall-winter baby, so she's probably going to be hanging out in lots of long sleeves and layers all the time. First up is this cute little one with kind of like a woodlandy theme, and it is the softest material I have ever felt. I already looked to see what it was, because I was guessing that it was bamboo fabric, but it doesn't say on here. Um, it's by the brand Angel Deer, if you're looking for it. It also has these cute little ruffles on the butt, which are absolutely adorable. And yeah, I just like, I'm so excited to put this on her and snuggle her because it is the softest thing in the world. And there's this cute little Laura Ashley baby onesie with cute little like pink and white striped sleeves and then a flower, like the body is a flower pattern and I just think it's 
so cute. Again, she is gonna be so, so well-dressed. I can't wait to see her in all these cute little things. And I said I wasn't gonna gush about every single piece, and here I am just talking on and on. <laughs> so we also got some cute little sleepers. This one is a pink and white kind of geometric pattern, which I really love geometric clothes for babies. And then a cute little lemon sleeper. And what's really awesome is a lot of the clothes we got are in a bunch of different sizes so that we don't have a ton of zero to three and then no three to six, for example. So um, she has, you know, a couple in each size. So yeah, really excited about that. And then a couple more sleepers again with that pretty mint color that we're using for her room as well. And this cute little flower sleeper. And then this one is super cute as well. And it has like pretty much the exact colors of her nursery. It has a light pink and white polka dot and then little mint sleeves and borders. And I just think it's so, so super cute. And then there's this snuggly little sleeper, which is like kind of a terry cloth material. And it has a little bare face on it. That's so super cute. It's one of those side snap ones too, which I heard are really easy to dress the baby because you don't have to pull anything over their head. You can just kind of like strap it on kimono style. So yeah, that would be really exciting to put her in. <laughs> and then this one I'm super excited about. So this is like, I don't even know what to call it. I want to call it a little snowsuit. So it has little bear ears on the top, which like just sends an outfit over the top with cuteness anyways. But this I'm planning on using kind of as like I guess her winter coat, I think it'll just be perfect for when we take her for walks in the stroller to just throw this over what out, whatever outfit she's wearing because here in Maryland it can get pretty cold in the winter and so um, yeah on days where it's you know it's winter and we still want to go for a walk I can just kind of bundle her up in this cute little bear snowsuit and it's like super fuzzy and thick and plush and I think it'll be really nice for keeping her warm on outings on colder days. And then finally for clothes, we have this cute little um, sleep sack, I think that is what it would be called. It's like this fleecy material with these cute little pink elephants on it. And the bottom is just like, you know, the sleep sack, sleep sack style instead of legs. So this will kind of be perfect to snuggle her up in to sleep at night. Again, keep her nice and toasty in those winter months. And that finishes up clothing. Next up, she got quite a few adorable little accessories that I'm gonna run through. So first she got this cute little set. I hope the glare, yeah, there you can see those. So it has three pairs of those cute little baby socks that kind of look like ballerina slippers. Um, and they have little bows and cute little decorations on them with matching little headbands. So these will be super fun to pair with some of those outfits. And then she got two pairs of shoes. One <laughs> little like unicorn booties. Can you see that? How freaking adorable is that? Again, I hope the camera isn't too bright. I'm gonna, I really hope you guys can see that because that's super cute. And these are by Cloud Island if you're interested. I'm gonna try my very best to link every single thing that I'm talking about in the description box below so you guys can shop it for your baby if you're interested. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do my best to leave all the links in the comments below, so if you're interested in finding something, definitely check the description box, um, so then I don't have to run through the brand of every single thing I talk about. But then there are these cute little white, like, um, knit booties, which again, are just so freaking precious, and I think are gonna be adorable for my little winter baby. She got a couple more sets of socks. This is kind of a fruit theme. I have the third one right here that was used for a game at the baby shower. Um, this looks like it has little peaches on it, maybe oranges, I don't know. And then little lemons on these. And these guys are watermelon pattern, which are just absolutely adorable. And then she got a couple of hats. She got this little pink hat. And then this little set of five that have some blue that says cutie, blue stripes, uh, gray elephants, multicolored triangles, and a little yellow one. And then she also got a cute little bow that's just this white and black polka dot pattern, which is so cute. I'm definitely gonna be putting her in bows all the time. I think they're the cutest little thing on baby girls. All right, she got a couple of bibs. So she got this little terry cloth bandana bib, and then this little floral pattern terry cloth bandana bib. And I think I'm gonna be using bandana bibs for uh, when she's teething and drooling a lot. And then regular bibs for obviously, you know, eating time. <laughs> and so these are cute little like gray, white, and green ones. Little elephant that says little peanut. Elephant pattern. 
plain green, geometric pattern, and the snuggle is real, <laughs> which is adorable. I love that saying. And then I also got some snap bibs by Aiden and Aiden and Ana. Everyone says that brand differently. I have no idea what the correct way is. I've always said Aiden and Ana or an I. I don't know. Anyways, I've heard really good things about this brand, so I'm really excited to try out these bibs. And they're also in super cute patterns. There's some pink swans. And then that guy. And I've heard that this material is just super absorbent and useful, so I'm really excited about that. All right, next up we have kind of blankets, and I also threw a swaddle in this category. Um, this is the Swaddle Up by Love, Love to Dream, and I absolutely love the concept behind these swaddles because it actually allows the baby to be swaddled with their arms up near their head rather than down by their side. And I just feel like that's a much more natural, comfortable position for a baby to be in. Um, so yeah, I've always been really excited to use these swaddles when I have baby girl and I think they're just going to be so much better for her at night rather than kind of being like straight jacketed in. <laughs> and then she also got a couple of super soft blankets. There is this guy with a cute little like seahorse, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Aquatic theme, I guess. And it's that super soft like minky material. And then we also got this adorable like cable knit blanket that I'm super excited to snuggle with her in. And it has these cute little pom-poms and I just think that's such a precious blanket. I'm really excited. Next we got the Ergo Baby Aura Baby Wrap and this is one of those, um, I think they're just called baby wraps. It's like, you know, the one big long piece of cloth that you can use to um, baby wear and I plan on baby wearing a lot. Um, I'm definitely kind of leaning more towards the attachment parenting style of things and so obviously baby wearing is a huge part of that so I'm really excited to give this a try and I picked this kind of like sage minty green color which I really really love and then she also got a couple of bath towels there is this one they are all hooded so I'm just gonna keep them nice and folded but you get the idea it has like kind of a minty and white um, checked pattern I guess with a really cute coral border and then this guy I have to take out of the box to show you guys because it's just too precious it is a nice bamboo towel so it is again the softest thing in the world but it has a little lamb hood isn't that so cute and it has just like the soft kind of faux furry I guess minky material I don't know but yeah, I'm really excited to use that one with her in the bath and get like a cute little bath picture because I just think it's, again, so cute and so soft. We also got these two towels, which are just so cute. Miles picked these out because they are sailing themed and he grew up sailing. They are by Nautica and one is just kind of more of a plain, I think, yeah, the towel part is white and then the hood has a pink and white stripe with a navy border. And then this other one has an adorable little sailboat on it, which I think is so precious. And again, I can't wait to see her all snuggled up in these after taking a bath. I think it's just gonna be the cutest thing in the world. Who doesn't love a baby fresh out of the bath? And then we got a nice big 10 pack of the Gerber style cloth diapers. And while we do actually plan on cloth diapering, these aren't going to be what we're cloth diapering with. I registered for these to use as our burp cloths. I have heard they are super absorbent and that they're just like hands down the best thing to use for burp cloths. I'm also the kind of person that if I get cute burp cloths, I'm not actually going to want to use them <laughs> because I'm going to be worried about them getting stained. So I knew that I just needed something, you know, basic and plain that I won't worry about getting messy and dirty and ruining. So yeah, I picked out these cloth diapers and yeah, I think they'll be super useful. Next thing I'm going to run through super fast with you guys is all of the baby books we got. We actually did the whole thing where we asked our guests to bring a book instead of a card so that we can build our, you know, baby book library because reading is going to be such an important thing to me to incorporate into our everyday routine with baby Stella and so yeah I wanted to have a nice good baby book library to start off right with so yeah I'm just gonna literally go, like run right through the books brown bear brown bear what do you see good night moon the very hungry caterpillar pat the bunny if I were an elephant, and these ones have cute little like tails coming off for the baby to play with. If I were a bunny, again with the cute little tail. Silly lullaby. Giraffes can't dance. Are you my mother? 
You Are My I Love You, the Going to Bed book, Baby Shark, <laughs> and Corduroy, Press Here, Grumpy Cat Yawn, Fantabulous Shapes, Baby Animals, Bert and Ernie's First Book of Opposites, 365 Bedtime Stories and Rhymes, The Wonderful Things You Will Be, The Giving Tree, a four pack of storybook classics that comes with Mother Goose, Peter Cotton. All right, my camera stopped recording, so I really, really hope that I got all of those books so far that I've gone through, but we have two more, Gina Farina and the Prince of Mints, and then Corgiville Fair. And so a couple of those, I mean, a lot of those are classics that I've heard of, a couple of them I've never heard of, of before, and I'm really excited to kind of, you know, read for the first time with Baby Girl. And there's a couple board books in there, which will be fun to let her kind of, you know, mess around with and some, yeah. So I'm just really excited to have a nice baby book library started. And now I think we can move on to some toys. All right, so we got some nice transitional toys because we got a couple of little toy books. This one is a baby turtle in the ocean. And it's just that, you know, those fabric books that babies can actually play with. And they have, you know, all sorts of like different flaps and stuff that they can explore. And then this one from my mother-in-law is actually called Yoga with Baby Stella. And it wasn't personalized, I don't believe. I think Baby Stella is actually a brand, but I just think that is so cute because obviously if you don't know, our baby girl's name is Stella. And so I think this would be so fun to play with her. And again, I love the idea of baby yoga. And so yeah, this will just be really fun to go through with her. We also got a couple of pacifiers. These are the MAM newborn pacifiers, which I think my mom has said that these are the only pacifiers fires I would take as a baby so if that's genetic good thing we have a set of these and then I think these are the Nook brand but I don't have the packaging for them anymore again they were used for the games that we played but they're a cute little um like smiley face style and then she also got a cute little wubbinub I'll take it out of the packaging so you can actually see wubbinubs are just like one of my favorite things in the world <laughs> they're just so cute so this is the one she got it's a, I don't even know what kind of animal it is. Yeah, it totally doesn't say on the packaging, but it looks like like a bird of some sort. I don't know, I think it's just so cute. It's like nice and fuzzy and soft, and um, obviously it has a pacifier attached, and I really like the full silicone pacifiers because I feel like they'll just be really easy to clean um, since they are all like one piece. And yeah, she also got a couple of teethers. This is the newbie Nana Nubs that I've heard really good things about. This is like the banana teether. Um, I'm gonna keep it in the packaging though so it stays nice and clean until we sterilize it. But um, yeah, I've definitely heard really good things about this teether as well as the itsy ritzy teethers. This is the pink cupcake, which is adorable. Next up is this cute little Discovery, Discovery Gem activity ball. And so this is what it looks like, and it's just one of those things that'll be really easy to kind of grab onto, um, like those O-ball kind of style. This has the same feel to me, I feel like. Um, and it just has all sorts of fun little, you know, and my camera overheated. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be an intense video to film, but hopefully I'll let it cool off for a sufficient amount of time and we can get back to the haul. So yeah, we are talking about the activity ball, and I think this will just be a really fun toy for her to play with and explore. She also got a couple of stuffed animals. These are both by Jelly Cat, and they actually correspond with those two board books with the tails that I showed you guys earlier, which is just super adorable. And they are the softest, softest stuffed animals in the world. I absolutely love Jelly Cat, and I am just so excited that she has a couple of cute little fuzzy friends from their brand to play with and snuggle, and yeah, I highly recommend checking out Jelly Cat if you are expecting a new baby. She also got a couple of lovies. There's this one, which I believe looks like it's from Cloud Island, yep. And so it's that same little unicorn design, which is just so precious. She does have kind of, not a unicorn theme, but she has acquired quite the number of unicorn things. And so it's kind of like her unofficial theme, I guess, Miles and I have been joking about. So yeah, fun to add to her little collection. And she also has this adorable Burt's Bees Bee Lovey. And actually, I think this lovey is a washcloth. Um, it feels like definitely like 
a washcloth, but I'm not positive. And this one is more like a snuggle blanket. And yeah, it's super cute. It has a little bee on top because it birds bees. <laughs> and yeah. Then she got a couple of actual like activity toy type things. There is this little avocado, which can Velcro close and open. And the little pit is a rattle, which will be super fun. And you can also hang this on like your stroller or a play mat. And then there's this guy, which is super fun and colorful. And he also rattles and I think he quacks. Yes, he quacks. <laughs> and then, I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. Oh, there you go. Okay, his little feet kick from pulling out the string on top. And so this is a super cute, fun toy for her to play with as well. It can also clip to things, which I think is super useful. And, and then finally for the toy category, we got these cute little rattlers that you can either um, attach to their little tiny wrists or ankles. They have these little, um, I don't know what to call them, but like straps that you kind of Velcro on. And it's really super, super soft Velcro. Um, so there's like no risk of them getting scratched from it or anything. But yeah, then they have it on their arm and when they kind of wave around when they're still really young and don't have full control over their arms, it can make, you know, arms and legs, it can make fun little rattle sounds. And so, yeah, I think this will be a really fun toy for her when she's still super young and not super able to, you know, interact with toys yet. Um, I think that's a really good option. Next, I'm gonna go through the feeding category and this kind of, um, arches over both breastfeeding and once she starts solids. So we have some things in here for both. Um, yeah, there's no real rhyme or reason. So I'm just gonna kind of pull out things. I have them all piled together and show you what we got. So we have this 12 piece OXO tot um, food storage thing. I do plan on trying to make my own baby food. And so obviously you need a place to put it once you make it yourself. And so I think these will be super useful to put in a little purees and stuff, um, as well as this little baby food freezer tray, again by Oxotot. These kind of look like ice cube trays with a silicone um, lid that you can pull back and it has these little, again, kind of ice cube shaped divots so you can put in your purees and freeze them, which I think will be really useful if you kind of want to make a huge batch at the beginning of the week and want to, you know, freeze them to save it for the rest of the week. Um, let's see, let me save that to show you guys with the other stuff. We got one Nook Simply Natural bottle. This was, again, part of one of the games that we played. And then we got a couple things from Munchkin. These are some soft tip infant spoons. And then this is a fresh feeder. So I've seen these and these look super fun. Um, what you do is you can put either like a piece of fruit or maybe like um, a frozen breast milk ice cube or something inside this little mesh pouch. And then the baby can kind of like chew and teeth on it. And it's a way to explore, for them to explore different foods without actually kind of risking choking on the food or whatever um, because the mesh only allows the taste and the juices to kind of go through and no big chunks. So yeah, I think that'll be really fun to uh, try out with baby girl. And then we also got a bottle brush, super essential. And this one again is by Munchkin. And this is really nice. I've seen this before. Um, it screwed, like the bottom screws off. And so there's a little nipple cleaner in there that's obviously, you know, much skinnier than this. And so it can get in the tiny cracks and crevices of the smaller parts of bottles, which I think is really useful. And then, okay, so I got a whole um, kind of bottle breastfeeding um, starter gift, like newborn gift set by Nano Baby. And that's the bottles that I really, really want to try and use. Obviously, um, it's kind of up to the baby what she will end up accepting, but these are the kind of first bottles that we're gonna try. Um, so yeah, it comes with a whole bunch of different sets, or a whole bunch of different things in the set. So I'm gonna pull it out and show it to you guys because I'm really excited about this brand. All right, so first up, we actually did get a separate single bottle outside of the kit. So I'll just kind of show you guys what these bottles look like because I think they're really cool and they're really unique. So they have this kind of dome shape that, you know, looks like a boob. <laughs> and it obviously will have a nipple that goes on top to make it, you know, a bottle. But the th reason these are so special is because they're specifically made for breast milk. And I do plan to breastfeed, obviously. And these bottles are made to both heat up and cool down very fast. So it saves as much nutrients in the breast milk as possible. And it doesn't risk, you know, killing them off when the breast milk is either heated or cooled incorrectly. So I'm really excited about this. Um, 
And yeah, I just think it'll be a really great companion to breastfeeding. And in the little single bottle set, it also comes with a travel stopper. So you just screw this into the top of the bottle um, so it doesn't leak. And the lid also has a travel um, lit, like top to it as well. And then they also give you a breast pump adapter, which I think is a really nice inclusion for just buying a single bottle. I don't think most bottles include that much. <laughs> like normally it just kind of comes with the bottle, the nipple, and maybe a cover for the nipple, but yeah. All this came in the little single bottle set. All right, and then so on to the newborn, newborn set. First thing I'm gonna pull out and show you guys is the warmer. And so this is the warmer designed specifically for the Nano Bebe bottles, and it has that kind of domed bottom to sit the um, bottles in. And I assume you just fill this up with warm water to help evenly heat up the breast milk whenever you want to warm up the bottle. Um, it also comes with several bottles in the newborn kit. Let's see, I can just tell you how many it comes with four bottles and four slow flow nipples, two medium flow nipples, and four travel covers. So that's super nice. It also has four of those storage caps, the just like plain flat caps. Next up, and this is kind of all falling apart, so I'll do my best to show you guys, but it comes with a drying rack. It looks like that, and this cover snaps off so you can drain any um, water that drips off of your drying bottles um, after they're dry. And then it has these little stands to kind of put in the drying rack to hold up, you know, the nipples and the different parts of the bottles or your pre uh, breast pump. And it makes it really nice airflow around the whole item so that it dries really sanitarily if that's a word it's kind of the same idea as the boon grass but i honestly just think this has a better aesthetic to it i never really liked the boon grass i just don't think it looks that nice um and so yeah i'm definitely more excited about having this sitting on my counter <laughs> and it also comes with two different sizes of the little stands for hanging stuff on there if you're interested and like I said, it comes with a whole bunch of um, breast pump adapters, nipples, nipple covers, and all that fun stuff. And then the other big thing that you get in this newborn gift set is a sterilizer. And so this is, I assume, steam sterilizer. Yeah, so a, a microwave steam sterilizer. So what you do is you add a little bit of water, pop this in the microwave, and it super quickly and easily sterilizes your bottles, pacifiers, breast pump parts all that fun stuff and it was really important to me to get um a sterilizer just because i'm not going to go through the effort of boiling things in water i just feel like this is just so much quicker and easier so i'm really excited to have this um, especially considering all the various things that you want to keep clean and sterile for your new baby um and then the final couple things that come in this kit you get a couple of their breast milk storage bag samples um and then you get two of their pacifiers. All right, we are moving right along. We are almost, almost finished with all the small things Then I can move on to the large bulky items. Um, I just have a couple of random things left to share with you and then we can move on. So the first thing is a set of pamper, pamper swaddlers in the newborn size. These were bought for, again, a game that we played, um, but these are will be actually really useful to have because my husband and I are still a little unsure if we're gonna cloth diaper right from the very beginning of when Stella is born or if we are gonna need to wait you know a week or two or something for her to either fit into the cloth diapers or for us to kind of get into the swing of things of having a newborn before we feel confident diving into you know the crazy world of cloth diapers um, and if you see Dakota in the corner here she has decided to join me for the video um, so yeah I just think it'll be really nice to have a you know some newborn diapers on hand in case we decide we just want to go the easy disposable route for the first you know little while of her life until we want to switch into our cloth diapers. We also got a nice back seat mirror. This is the one by Brytax and I picked it because it seemed like the biggest like actual mirror. Some of the other ones had really big borders and smaller mirrors which I thought was a little silly. Um, so this obviously gives you the biggest view of your baby in your back seat. Um, and it's really nice, it like straps onto the headrest and you can adjust the way or like the angle of the mirror so that you can see your baby um, even when they're rear facing in the back seat and you're in the front seat driving, obviously doing so safely with your eyes on the road and only checking on her when you're stopped. But um, yeah, moving on, I got a couple of things for mom. <laughs> so I got the Bamboobies washable nursing pads and these are the four 
uh, ultra thin and less visible for daytime use ones and they look like this I do plan on again using reusable nursing pads um, um, we're trying really really hard to use as little disposable and single-use items as we can both with the baby and you know for postpartum for me and just kind of in our life in general that's just something that's really important to my husband and I so uh, reusable nursing pads just seemed like an obvious choice for me and as well as that we I got a thing of the boobies organic organic nipple balm which I've heard really good things about so I'm excited to try that as well and the thing that I really like about these organic nipple balms is that there is no need to wash it off before you breastfeed your baby because it's just bound to happen that you either forget to you know wipe off your nipples before you start breastfeeding or there's just you don't fully wipe them off and there's a little bit of the nipple balm left and so I just feel a lot safer knowing that um you know it is safe for my baby to ingest if you know when they breastfeed. <laughs> I also got this little Tatcha creme de mano um, hand cream. Again, it was used for one of the games, but um, my mother-in-law got this. She thought it was fun because it actually is called Stella. And I'm not sure if that's the name of the hand cream or the scent or whatever, but yeah, I just thought that was really cute. She's been having a lot of fun buying things with uh, Stella's name on them, which I, again, really appreciate as someone who grew up as a merit and had nothing with my name on it. So uh, I definitely get a kick out of personalized items. And then Baby Girl also got a couple of, um, I guess, health and safety toiletry items, <laughs> you could say. Um, first up is the Frida Baby Nail Frida the Snipper Clipper. And I, I love the Frida Baby and Frida Mom line. All of their products are just so, so genius. Um, I already have a couple of the other products and I'm planning on buying a couple more of them. I just feel like every single one of their products is really um, just kind of ingenious and they think of things in a way that isn't, that just makes their products so much more easy to use and just better. And I, I don't know, I'm a huge, huge fan. So the nail clippers have a nice little safety hole so you can actually see directly into the nail clipper what you're clipping and so it's a lot safer. You don't have to risk, um, you can actually see that you don't have any of your baby's little delicate skin in the nail clipper before you clip their nails, which I think is awesome. And there is also a nail file uh, included and it is this unique S shaped rather than just a straight line because I just feel like it'll work better because you're filing someone else's nails. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm really excited to use these to keep, you know, baby girl's nails all filed down so she doesn't scratch herself. And I just, again, I love the Freedom Mom brand. And then this is a little Burt's Bees toiletries gift set. Burt's Bees is one of the brands that we will be using with her, um, along with 7th Generation and Shea Moisture if you're looking for um, natural baby products. Oh, and Earth Mama Organics. Those four brands are kind of my go-to, um, I guess, toiletries and just brands like that to use with baby because they are, they just use good ingredients. They don't use harmful toxic chemicals and I just really trust what they put in their products. Um, I've been using the Think Dirty app a lot recently and all four of those brands pretty much across the board with all of their products get really good ratings. So with that said, um, this is the Burt's Bees Baby Toiletry Kit and it comes with a shampoo and body wash, a diaper rash ointment, a nourishing lotion, and what looks like just a cute little bar of soap for baby. So yeah, I'm really excited to give her some nice baths with those items. My husband also got his diaper bag at our baby shower. He picked out, it is by the brand Hap Tim, and I believe it's sold on Amazon. I'm not sure if this brand is sold elsewhere, but he did a lot of research into his diaper bag, and this is the one that he picked. Um, I can't talk too much about it because obviously I didn't look into it, so I don't know too much about, you know, the different features and stuff, but if you're interested, I could probably get him to talk about it over on our vlog channel, so just let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see, and I'll get him to do that. I do know it comes with a, a diaper pad, uh, like a diaper changing pad, so there's that, and it just, you know, looks super cool and manly for dad to carry around. <laughs> and then I also registered for this little diaper caddy, like, organizer thing. It looks like that, and it has cute little, like, kind of peachy pink um, and white stars on the inside. 
and then it comes with two little dividers that you can use to kind of section off the inside of the caddy and what I plan to use this for is kind of a baby storage and organizer for in our room. We definitely plan on having her sleep in our room for probably at least the first six months um, and so we'll be doing you know diaper changes in the middle of the nights and you know feedings and all that fun stuff that comes with a very new baby and so I'll want to kind of keep a nice little stash of things. Her nursery is upstairs and our uh, master bedroom is on the first floor so obviously we're not going to want to be running up and down the stairs in the middle of the night ten times a night. Um, so I'm going to store you know a couple of diapers in here, her diaper rash cream, um, anything that I need for pumping in the middle of the night. Uh, I'll probably keep like my haka in here and just you know maybe an extra set like an extra pajama set in case she um, you know messes hers up in the middle of the night. I don't want to run upstairs for a new outfit. Um, and also some uh, changing pad liner things that we're just going to use like on our bed to change her because um, her changing pad will obviously be upstairs but I just want something waterproof to set on the bed so we're not changing her directly on our bed. So yeah, I just think this will be really useful just to keep in the bedroom with all of the nighttime necessities we'll need. Alright, next I have a couple of like chairs and positioners, I guess is the category to share with you guys. So first of all, I registered for this Bumbo multi-seat that looks like that. And what I plan on using this for is kind of um, to take with us out and about if she ever needs a seat. Say we go to like a restaurant or something. The other feature I really love about this seat is that on either side it has these clips that pull out like that and you can clip them. This one goes around the bottom of the seat and then this one will go around the back of the seat. So you can literally make any chair into a baby friendly high chair seat and I just think it's just such a genius product and I think it'll be really really useful to bring to grandparents houses, restaurants, wherever you end up going and need to feed your baby or just have a place for them to sit. Next up, we received the Bobby Newborn Lounger, and this is what I chose to go with over the Docatot for multiple reasons. First of all, I just could not get behind spending $150 to $200 on a Docatot. I just think it is way too expensive. Also, the reason, after a little bit of research, I found that the reason most moms really loved the Docatot was for sleep. And I honestly, I wouldn't feel safe um, having my baby sleep in that. It's, you know, I'm not judging anyone else's decision to, but me personally, I just know that's, that wasn't what I would want to use that product for. I just wanted um, a comfy little place to be able to set down my baby if I need to like, I don't know, do the dishes, brush my teeth, you know, whatever. Just I wanted a place to be able to kind of put her. <laughs> and so I think the Boppy Newborn Lounger is perfect for that. It comes in this cute little elephant gray and white pattern and it's really soft and cushy and I'm really really excited about this product. <laughs> I think it'll just be really useful and it also has a handle to like easily carry around the whole house and I think this will get a ton of use. In addition to the Boppy Lounger, we also registered for the original Boppy, and this is the breastfeeding pillow, but it can be used for so, so much more than that. It can again be used as some place to just, you know, lay your baby down in. You can also help them sit up in a Boppy. They can be used for tummy time. This is actually the second Boppy that we own. Our neighbors were nice enough to hand me down their older Boppy, and so I really wanted to because we live on a two level house, and I just think it will be really nice to have one that we keep in our master bedroom for, you know, overnight feeds. Because, like I said, we do plan on having her in our room for the first first at least six months um, and this one can kind of travel around the first floor and then the second one we can keep up in her nursery um, and we're gonna be spending most of our time likely up on the second floor during the days because that's where my office is that's where her nursery is and so yeah having a second one up there I just think it'll be a lot easier to avoid having to kind of tote the same boppy up and down the stairs and we also have several covers for it this one we got at our baby shower and it is absolutely precious it has these cute little pink flowers on it it looks like that and I think for the boppy it's super important that you have multiple covers because like I said we're gonna be planning on using this a lot and so babies also make messes and you'll need to wash the covers and it'll just be really nice to have replacement covers to throw on so we don't have to wait for the one to clean in order to use the boppy again and you know the actual pillow will stay nice and protected at all times and that wraps it up we are all finished well not the video but the small things that I can actually pick up and show you guys 
I wasn't lying, this is going to be a really long video, so if you're still here and sticking around, thank you so much, I do really appreciate it. And yeah, so now I am going to start chatting about the larger scale items that we received at our baby shower. So the very first thing I wanted to share with you guys is the stroller that I registered for, and this is the Mockingbird stroller. It is brand new this year for 2019, and it is just a game changer. I originally was thinking about going with the Up a Baby Vista just because it had a lot of the features that I was interested in it in as well as the aesthetic of just a nicer higher end stroller. But after a lot of thought, I just again couldn't justify the price. I would just rather my money go elsewhere rather than, you know, dumping a whole thousand dollars into a stroller. Um, and so I did I did a ton of research on strollers. I considered so many, so many different options. I considered double strollers, single strollers, uh, travel systems. I, I looked at probably every single stroller on the market. And when I found Mockingbird, I literally, like, that was the last stroller I looked at. I was like, I just was sold. It is $350 for the stroller, which is just an unbelievable price for the quality that you get with this stroller. It has pretty much all the features of the higher end strollers, but it's a direct to consumer uh, brand online. And so they are able to sell it at a significantly reduced price. And I just, again, I love the look of this stroller. I went with the sea canopy, which is navy, the, um, I forget what they call it, but the polka dot interior of the canopy, and then the penny leather handles, which I just love. I think it is such a classy look, and I just, I love the look of this stroller. But not only that, it has a million and one features that make this, like, just the nicest stroller on the market, in my opinion. Again, I don't really want to go into too much detail in this video because we would be here for another hour, but... Um, if you would be interested in me making a separate video on this channel going through all of the different things I love about this stroller, I would be more than happy to film that because this stroller has some amazing functions, really, really useful features, and I just, I can't rave about it enough. <laughs> um, in addition to the actual stroller base itself, I also got the bassinet attachment, which was really, really important to me. Um, I just love the idea of being able to take my baby on a walk in, you know, the little baby bassinet, and I just... I don't know, that was just something that I personally really, really wanted. Um, it also um, functions as a safe sleep space, so if we ever spend the night elsewhere, I can use my stroller bassinet as a regular bassinet in you know, our hotel room. Grand, well, I guess we wouldn't really be sleeping at grandparents' houses because they're all within 20 minutes, but yeah, if we're ever traveling, visiting family, um, and wherever we end up, if we need a sleep space on the go, this bassinet doubles as that, which I super love. So not only is it just really cute to be able to walk your brand new baby in a little bassinet stroller, it pulls double duty in function. <laughs> we also got our car seat off the registry and we picked the Maxi Cozy Miko 30 car seat. And I just absolutely love the look of Maxi Cozy strollers as well as their safety ratings. It's just a really, really nice stroller or his car seat, excuse me, and yeah, I pretty much knew I was gonna register for a Maxi Cozy car seat from the get-go. I just was, I don't know, I was just really drawn to that brand, and so I really like the car seat, and one thing I super love about this car seat is that the um, fabric is actually removable and machine washable, which I think is just an absolute necessity for an infant car seat because they're just bound to get dirty. They're gonna have, you know, milk and blowouts and who knows what else get in there, so, yeah, I just think that is such a crucial feature of a car seat, and I'm really excited that that is a possibility with ours. <laughs> Next up is our swing, which is the Graco Soothing System Baby Glider in the Abington's, Abington style. And the baby swing was probably one of the hardest decisions <laughs> that I had to make. Um, it honestly took me forever to pick a swing. I probably put as much research into the swing as I did into the stroller. I just could not find a swing that fit all of my wants and needs. And um, I am just in love with the one I ended up with. I think it is absolutely perfect. It comes with both a typical swing um, insert as well as a bassinet insert, which I just think, again, is so genius because lots of moms like to have their baby fall asleep in a swing and that's just not safe if it's in a regular swing um, inclined seat. And so the fact that the swing has a flat-based bassinet attachment um, 
I'm gonna feel a lot safer if baby does fall asleep in the swing and I don't want to move her. I just think that's just such a great feature and um, awesome for peace of mind because again, no one wants to move a sleeping baby and so if she fell asleep in the incline position, it just, you know, it would be an inner battle, move or not to move the baby. So I'm glad that is taken completely out of the equation. So I love that it has that feature. Um, in addition, I really like that it has kind of a gliding motion rather than a swing motion. There were three different kinds of um, swing options I found. One was the kind that the Mamaru does, which has a kind of base under the seat portion that kind of just moves the seat around. And personally, I didn't feel like that was guaranteed to soothe um, a baby because I've heard really, really mixed reviews. Some moms love it, some moms say their babies hate it. And I think it's because it's not actually swinging the baby, it's just kind of moving them. Um, and so I just honestly didn't want to risk that my baby would be the kind of baby that didn't like that kind of motion, and so I really wanted to stick with something that was an actual um, swing. Uh, so then there are also the actual typical swings that kind of um, are held from above and they swing like a pendulum, and um, I definitely considered a couple of those different swings, but the issue I had with those is lots of those take up a really big footprint and they also are only they only have one function um, and so that was kind of the downfall of most of those swings that I found and then the final style is a glider style and so these swings kind of mimic the style of a rocking chair and so it, again it has that physical swinging motion that the regular swings have and so in my mind it's kind of comparable in that way but the reason I really like this one in particular was because um, not only does it have the bassinet for safe sleep it also has the regular seat lifts out and is able to be used as a bouncer and so literally it has all of my different like um, baby gear, swing, bouncer, whatever it needs in one product, which I love. Because, you know, it's just, it can get so overwhelming because, you know, they tell you, you need a swing, you need a bouncer, you need, you know, just all sorts of different gear. And I didn't want a million and one swings in my house. And so I love that this one product has everything I could possibly need to use to um, entertain or soothe my baby. Um, it has some cute little toys that dangle down. It has um, different speeds and it has some, you know, sounds and vibration that comes with, you know, all swings. But um, yeah, those are the reasons that I specifically liked the swing that I picked. And I definitely recommend you check it out. For diaper pail, we went with the Ubi diaper pail. And um, I've, again, heard really good things from a lot of different moms here on YouTube about the Ubi diaper pail. Uh, we chose a mint color because like I keep saying, uh, baby girl's colors for her nursery are kind of like a light pink and a mint. And so I've just been kind of alternating um, which color we pick for different items in her room. And I really liked the mint diaper pail. Um, like I said, we will be cloth diapering, and so that kind of um, also narrowed down my options for a diaper pail. I couldn't use something like the Diaper Genie, which um, first of all requires you to use disposable bags, and it kind of like knots up and ties each diaper individually. Uh, I wanted to be able to use a reusable wet bag as my diaper pail liner. Uh, so that I can just take the diaper bag or the diaper pail liner out with the dirty cloth diapers and throw the whole shebang in the wash. And yes, yeah, so I really like that the Ubi pail allows me to do that. I also like that it's steel and so it really is going to lock in those odors. I do also like that it has a locking function for the um, where it opens so that once Stella gets a little older she's not going to be able to get into the dirty diaper pail which I think is a really nice function and yeah the Ubi diaper pail it just has a nice aesthetic it's you know you kind of have to have a diaper pail in your nursery and so I think it's nice to have one that looks nice and doesn't take away from all the you know hard work you put into creating a cute little nursery so yeah I actually think that this diaper pail adds to it because again of all the cute colors next up we have our play mat and this is another one that I am really excited about because I put a lot of research into this play mat we decided to go with the love every play mat and I I'm so in love with this playmat. I just think it's amazing. It's really focused on kind of helping your baby developmentally and it has I think five or six little different kind of areas or stations around the edge of the playmat that you can use to stimulate and entertain and um, yeah, help your baby develop using the different stations. Like one has um, some uh, rainbow tags, one has some black and white um, high contrast images. I forget exactly what all the different PlayStations are, but they all serve a different function to help teach your baby. 
and um, it also has a large surface area, which I find that most other play mats are much smaller, and so the baby outgrows being able to really use it at a much younger age because they just will roll off of it right away, and so moms end up putting a blanket under the play mat, which I feel like defeats the purpose. So I really like that the Love Every play mat is nice and large, and it, um, again, is, you know, educational I guess and helps with their development it really has a bunch of different things that you can use to interact with your baby so it's not just you know one little toy that you can rattle around for them you can really you know do tummy time with your baby on it and it has different activities for you guys to do together and I really like it it also comes with a little booklet helping you learn how to use the different stations um, to best you know help your baby developmentally so I just really love the concept behind it again the fact that it's you know not only entertaining but also educational for your baby in addition to that it also grows past the baby stage it has a little tent feature that you can kind of put over the actual wood uh, gym part of the play gym and so it becomes kind of a little like a play tent for your kid once they get a little bit older so um, yeah I just thought that was a really fun extra feature that makes the baby product lasts a little bit longer because you know with a lot of baby products they have you know a shelf life of a year and then you can't use it anymore so anything that kind of makes a product stretch out is definitely appreciated by me and I just yeah I'm really excited to use this play mat with Stella and finally finally last but not least the last thing I have to share with you guys is the Halo Bassinest Swivel Sleeper and I have known I wanted this bassinet since before I was pregnant. I absolutely love the concept behind this bassinet and I am so excited to use it. So, like I said a couple times before, Stella will be sleeping in our room, however, I am not personally comfortable co-sleeping and bed sharing. Um, we have a dog that sleeps in bed. Uh, both my husband and I are very active sleepers and move around a lot. Um, I can't imagine not sleeping with like covers and pillows and stuff like that. So. Um, bed sharing just isn't an option for us. However, I do love the idea that um, bed sharing offers ease of access to your baby. So for nighttime feedings and changings and stuff, they're right there. Um, I also love, you know, that they feel close to you and comforted. And um, yeah, so I wanted a bassinet that would kind of simulate those pros of bed sharing without the risks of bed sharing. And I feel like the Halo bassinet perfectly balances those two. It is made so that you put it um, next, right next to your bed and you can kind of swivel it so that it moves directly onto your bed when you want to pull out the baby and then you can swivel it safely away from your bed um, and it's completely surrounded by mesh so it's breathable. It has a arm like um, I forget what they call it, but the front part of the bassinet kind of presses down easily so that when you go in to lift out your baby, you're not kind of like going to, it, it just makes it easier to pick up the baby. I'm not doing a great job of explaining it. Um, but yeah, that's like the feature that I love the most about it. And I think it's just going to make night times a million times easier rather than having to get up out of bed to grab her out of a pack and play or another kind of bassinet. I just think it's just going to be so easy to just kind of swivel her into the bed do whatever we need to do for her, put her back in her bassinet, and swivel her right away back to sleep. Um, it also has a couple other fun features that, um, you know, will be useful. I don't know how much we'll use them. That'll just kind of, you know, time will tell. But it has um, a vibration setting, some sounds. Um, I think it has a, like, nightlight type feature. And it has some storage caddies on the side. And yeah, I ended up going with the Riverstone pattern, which I really, really love. I just think it's so beautiful. And yeah, I am just so excited about this bassinet. And again, I think it will really allow us the benefits of sleeping close and with our baby without actually having to have her in the bed with us. So I really appreciate that. And that finishes up this baby shower haul. If you have stuck with me this long, I just, I don't even know what to say. I am so grateful to you. Thank you so much. I hope you got lots of information out of this baby shower and some good product recommendations. I could say this a million times over, but I absolutely love all the gifts we received. And just looking at the amount of stuff that we were gifted, I am just blown away. And it just makes me want to cry that my baby girl is already so, so loved. It means so much to me. And the fact that you're also watching this video and you're so excited about my baby girl. I know a lot of people, especially over on my vlog channel, have been just waiting so patiently and excitedly for baby Stella to get here. And that just means the world to me. 
And yeah, but this video has been long enough, so I'm going to make this ending super fast and wrap things up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to check the description box for product links if you saw anything that you would like for yourselves. And don't forget to subscribe down below because I will actually be doing a part two of our baby shower haul. There are a couple of things that have been shipped and haven't arrived yet. There are a couple of things that we need to exchange because the company shipped the wrong color. And then there are also a bunch of things off the register that I will be purchasing uh, myself to kind of complete the registry and so I still want to share all of those items with you and what um, products I picked uh, to use with my baby and why I love them so be sure to subscribe and stick around for that video and other than that I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!